Hey guys, <clears throat> this is Foolish Mortal 42 back with some more World of Warcraft playing Aldar, our Rani Paladin in the Wrath of the Lich King content. It is August 23rd, the day before um, hardcore servers come out. I'm not going to get to play these two days because I work both days. And this weekend, probably not going to look too good either. So if I do decide to do some hardcore um it'll be just you know just like an episode or two at a time probably like intersperse it like do two episodes of this then one episode then two and then one something like that just to kind of uh you know try something a little different um not for sure what class i'm gonna make i may just do uh a die roll <laughs> do like a 50 50 if we're gonna do Ford or Alliance, and then do, like, whatever, I think there's, like, four, yeah, there's four in original um, races, and then we'll, you know, kind of do it like that, we may, may do that, so, anyway, we're down here in Booty Bay, just doing some turn in, turn ins, hmm, Let's try this. I can't believe it. This stuff is terrible. That's great. Well, I guess Stoli can keep the money he owes me. He's true to his word about Steamweedle Bilge Rum. That stuff is as thick as gravel and burns like lava. Right. So we're not going to do um, anything down here, really. But uh, we I did off-screen a few things. Finishing up some Tanara stuff and some Tarnians. Hello there, lad. The name's Oglethorpe, and I may be responsible for one of the amazing gnomish devices you might possess. If it blew up, then it wasn't me. If it made you rich, though, we can discuss royalties. Oh, and if you're from Nomerigan, you can just take two 90-degree angles, smash them together, and start marching. I have <laughs> nothing to say to you. Oh, you're the great savior of UX 17 TN. I cannot even begin to express my thanks for your assistance. My homing robot series needs more developing, but your recovery has saved me countless hours of rebuilding time, as well as many gold pieces in rebinding costs. Please, take your choice of any of these items I have. Hopefully, you will make good use of one of them. Thank you again for your generous assistance. My robots and I are in your debt. Oh, you're the great savior of UX 22 CE. <clears throat> I cannot even begin to express my thanks for your assistance. My now even less absorbent. More That's development, cute. But your recovery has saved me countless hours. Right. We got a slightly better shield. Uh, if we ever do decide to take some. Uh, all right. So next on our list of turn-ins. Um is Rise of the Silithus Silithid it's in Darnassus um, that's in Hinterlands Hinterlands, Hinterlands Hinterlands Darnassus that's in um, Ashara so <clears throat> Let us go to Yeah, let's go to Darnassus first and grab some of that because assisting uh, the Archdruid is where we're going to go to next. That's going to be in Ungaro Crater. We're going to do uh, Ungaro Crater to get through our 50s. And also, I got to level 50. Uh, I did not get training yet. Uh, I did pick up Crusader Strike and did a little bit, but not too awful much. Um, but the, the main thing that we're going to do in Hinterlands is we're going to do all of those quests, but we're also going to do that so that we can get the third homing robot so that we can get another pet because my pet collection is actually quite nice. I got a Bombay cat, cockatiel, a Rex, Blub, which was from my six month subscription, a green winged macaw, Hoplet, which is was also from a subscription, 
I got a Westfall chicken off screen, a tabby cat, Senegal, and an orange tabby. So we'll get a robot chicken if we do the last of that. So. And then my mounts are doing okay. So we've got our swift, swift mounts. I guess I could take a look at those, see what those are. See, it just, I don't like these because, I don't know, well maybe that one's not too I think if they had, instead of using the Elex, if they had used something different, um, the Elex, they just, they look so strange, and you just, I don't know, I've just never really cared for them that much. But we'll, we'll ride this one around for a while. Yeah, a lot of the quests that we're going to pick up in Hinterlands are probably going to be green, but they will lead to some higher level stuff, hopefully. And then we'll go down to Garo Crater. Uh, I need to swing by a the auction house and get a mithril casing so that we can do the whole... Yeah, I just don't like them. I don't care for them. <laughs> Hiya! This workshop isn't mine, no. But one day after I finish training, I'm going to be an inventor, just like my hero, Armin Rimmetson. You never heard of him? Well, it just so happens that he left quite some time ago to study some ancient troll ruins he kept talking about. He left in a zeppelin, not quite sure about where exactly he went. No, that's not it. Being an apprentice to Marvon Rivet Seeker, I've learned so much. But he's been gone for such a long time now, so I think I'm going to work on some experiments of my own. I've been reading about Ungoro Crater most recently, and about the strange volcanic activity going on in the middle of the crater. I think a lot could be learned if I could just get some of the ash from the elementals there. Do you think you'd mind collecting some for me, if you're going that way? I don't think there's a paladin trainer in Darnassus. Or wait, maybe there is in the temple. But we'll be going in there anyways. We'll pick up... We'll go in and pick up Called Arms Plague Lens. And then we'll do a Mage Weave turn in here. Because we have plenty of Mage Weave. We ha actually have... Enough for two turn ins. So we could get Darnassus and. Yeah, we could swing over to the exit R and do that. I'll do that off screen. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video while we're in flight. Alright, hold on. Alrighty, well. Archdruid, Vendral, Staghelm. Wasting the time of the Cenarian Circle as a whole. For your sake, let us hope that you are not foolish enough to be doing just that. Well now, adventurer. Since you were informed that I was leading this research myself, you obviously came as quickly as you could. Now that you are here, be sure to pay attention the first time I tell you the details. I have no desire to repeat myself. Hmm. The soil of Ungoro Crater is reportedly enriched with potent magical qualities. I want to know facts from falsehoods. Go into the wilds of Ungoro and acquire enough quality samples of soil for our continued study. You may think that collection tasks are beneath you, 
That sort of attitude does not endear yourself to me or the Cenarian Circle. Bring the samples to Hana, who is no doubt wasting time outside behind this tree. Just <laughs> look for the piles of dirt. He will handle the logistics, not I. Well, at least he is pleasant. Hail, friend. A moment of your time, if I may. We have endured much in our trials and tribulations. Wonderful. That's rune cloth now. Then rise of the sit. Uh, is this the auction house? I think I'm misspelling it. Da -da. Oh, I guess there's not one. Uh... I don't think it's a I don't think it's a mithril tube. Hang on just a second. Oh, it is a mithril casing, and there are none to be had right now, so that's okay. You guys will be uh, watching me test out Crusader Strike. Not really had much chance to use it just yet. I walked right by the door. If I remember right, this will also send us down to Ugaro. I am honored. This report. We night elves know of the terror mentioned here. Fizzledowser was wise to send this, and you to me. These creatures will consume the Tanaris Desert rapidly. They are nothing short of one of the greatest menaces we all will ever face. Familiarize yourself with this name, adventurer. Silithid. The insects mentioned here are the Silithid. And they are the tools of one of the greatest threats that both the Horde and Alliance face. If only we were smart enough to see that before. It would seem that the Selithids' intent, nay, reason for being, is to devour everything in their path that is not of their ecology. Their focus is singular, and it is for this reason they are a grave threat to all life on Azeroth. What we've seen to date is but the first stages. I suspect that their strength comes from deeper in Kalimdor, Ngoro Crater. Go to Gadgetzan in the Tanaris Desert and speak to Alchemist Peslazov. Tell him of my theory, 
He will surely aid us in fighting the Silothid. <laughs> okay. This is the one that ends uh, ends with us fighting the queen in the bottom of the nature. Greetings, friend. That one's Good fast. Oh, uh, the legion's end draws near. Okay. Oh, a new redemption, a new consecration, flash of light, holy wrath. And a new lay of hands, nice. Fire resistance, devotion. Two. Okay. Oh, 52 is going to be a big, a big uh, level for me. New consecration. That's going to be handy. Uh, Holy Wrath, is that in... gonna have to adjust my oh hot bars here a little bit okay so now over to I think let's go over to Ashara and get this turned in really quick. And then we can head over to back to Hinterlands. So I'm gonna go. Uh, we have the flight point to Astronar. Then we'll ride out the rest of the way. And I'll probably run up and grab the flight point to um, Bellwood also. Alrighty, we're over here in Ashara. Is that a... Oh, True Silver. Alright. So, uh, uh, we're basically just going to be here for these rubbings um, and uh, killing some Naga or their clams. Because that uh, clam mag Clamlet Magnifique is magnificent. Yeah. 24 attack power and 14 spell power. I mean, that really, really rocks for us. So I had not realized that it was like that. And we're also going to be on the lookout for some more True Silver and Mithril to get up to 345 so that we can hit uh, Orium deposits. And then hopefully that'll get us up to, well, I mean, it'll get us to three. Uh, and uh, thorium sells really good, so that will continue to balloon our income. Well, not balloon. We're gonna the second we hit like level fifty-eight, that's gonna be spent pretty quickly. <laughs>
Oh, she silenced me. Okay. Oh yeah, I traded my boots out for the shin kickers, and that gave me uh, a pretty good bump on our crit chance again. I would like to get it closer to 20. By the time we hit Outland, that would be nice. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting we've got uh, Crusader Strike, and our first one was a miss, so... Alright, 172, so that's a little bit more, or a little bit less than our actual damage, or uh, weapon damage. Alright. Can we read that? Yeah, I'm going to have to get in the habit of hitting that uh, Crusader Strike. Ugh. Aldar, you are an absolute monster. Wow. <laughs> oh, a miss. That didn't miss, though. So that's two. These are fairly close together. And then this quest goes to... Um... Oh yeah, we just used the signal thing. We don't actually have to go back anywhere. That's nice. Yeah, I'm not going out of my way to avoid any of these guys because I want those sweet plants.
<laughs> it's just it's so good. <laughs> so good. I'm out of range. I mean, these guys are, you know, a little bit under my level. I mean, some of them are 4950. But I mean, I'm just like absolutely ripping them up. And I love that four second cooldown on Crusader Strike. That is so good. <laughs> oh, a rich thorium vein. I can't even. That makes me sad. disconnect. No, just, just some lag. It's okay. I think what's happening is I tend to play in the afternoon or in the evening. It's actually 9 o'clock at night now. But um, I think what's happening is I'm being throttled on my Starlink. Uh, because we're technically still in the roaming program. We're not actually, we don't actually have a fully activated Starlink internet. So I think once it actually opens up completely, we will, um, I'll be able to stream, which is kind of what I would really like to do. Uh, right now, it's just not going to happen. Whoop. Oh, right. Uh, so now we've got to ride all the way down there. Wow, another golden pearl and an iridescent pearl. Holy cow. Godfin halibut. Do I have a recipe for that? Is that... We will just ride out there and kind of see. <clears throat> Some of these areas over here, they're... They don't look like they're... Oh, those are, those are bad boys. <clears throat> uh, they don't look like they're on the, the same level, but if you go down and run along the beach, then you find out it's like, oh no, there's a bridge up there, so I'm not 100% sure on that. <clears throat>
I kind of figured I would have seen some in Cranstomania. Some, um... Or, um, ores on the way out of here, but... These guys are a little bit higher level. I mean, they're only four levels higher. It'd be that hard to hit. I think this might be a down in the on the ocean kind of a yeah there it is um here we go oh I think I shorted it oh wrong button <laughs> I knew when I clicked it, it was the wrong one. Oh, goodness. All right, hang on. Alrighty, I'm back. Uh, another reason why I really don't care for Ashara that much is it's so hard to get around anywhere. Uh, Marlock, no, dang it. Earls. Wow, like one Murloc out in the middle of nowhere by himself. That's very odd. Now the fire gun. If this is a no mission invention, everybody get back. Please don't blow up. Uh, okay. Been waiting for you. Glad to see you've come through. Do you have the shipment? Oh, there he is. Hi. Well, well, well. Glad that you made it out of here. Out here. As dangerous as this place is, there hasn't been too much action along the coast. 
That might be on account of the Naga swimming underwater, but that's not my problem. I patrol the sky. Uh, I'll get these to Tamora right away. He'll be thrilled to take a look at these. Go ahead and toss the flare gun. Probably won't be any good to you anymore anyway, and I already got a new one. Uh, didn't give me anything to pay you with, so I suggest you take it up with him when you get back to Ironforge. I'm sure he'll still be in this play in his place in the Mystic Ward. Just go knocking. Make sure he pays you good. This place ain't no picnic, that's for sure. Strength and stamina boots. Uh, and an intellect offhand. All right. So we will hearth back to Stormwind. Um, and then head up to Iron Fork. Not a whole lot going on in this episode, but uh, just kind of getting ready for the big push into 58 to get us to Outland. Uh, there you are. These great beasts know paths that you can't find on foot. They'll get you there fast and maybe show you something new at the same time. Yeah. So those aren't bad. Um, more armor. Go away. I guess I could find a agility enchant because we'll probably have these for a while. Turn that in, turn that in. Start working on that. Get that. Yeah, I think that'll work pretty good. All right, I'll see you guys in Ironforge. Hold on. Alrighty, we are in Ironforge, so let's do a Ironforge rep turn in. Then we will need a couple more stacks of Mage Weave. Do we Hi, you there. If you want to earn the respect of the dwarves of Ironforge, then you can start by... Yeah, our lowest rep is actually with uh, Omergon, so I'll have to really work on that. Get in. How are ya? Wonderful! I'm so glad to hear it. I'm really excited to get to my tower and go over those rubble. I'm so envious of you. Going to a place like Ashara. That's any student of the Arcane's dream, I would guess. Well, we never spoke about any kind of reward since you were just working for the Explorers League, but you deserve something. Oh, really? Watch your back. Well, that was awful kind of you. Um. I mean, the agility does give us a little more crit. But I don't know, I like that armor in the... What may the light protect you this day? Oh, sure. Commander Ashlam Balafist has sent out a call for a paladin of... We can do that. Okay, now where to? Um, we'll pick up a little slime goes a long way because I think that's going to end up sending us into Ungaro, if I remember correctly. Mm.
Amazing, aren't they? All these artifacts and remains. I'm not sure what I'm more impressed by. Their size or the stories that go along with them. There's so much to study and learn. And the connections we can make. Did you know rumor has it that many races well, have the that's same in Failwood. We're going to wind up going up there. But the thing I've studied most is ooze. I know it sounds odd, but they're all over. I helped a lady in Menethil find her bag not too long ago. It was eaten by oozes. I've seen members of the Royal Apothecary Society from Undercity collecting samples of the stuff. I want to know why. Where does it come from? I've heard of more in Fellwood. What I need are samples of the oozes there so I can further my research. I'll give you containers. You use them to collect the sample from the deceased creatures. I can do that. That's not too bad. Now up to Wildhammer dwarves might have fast Harry Peak. I will see you guys there in just a second. The of the great... Alrighty. Up here in Harry Peak in Interlands. You've spoken with Grimshay. What did he say? What? The Vile Branch trolls have sharp beak. That's unbearable. We must organize a force to get him back. We must save Sharp Beak. Fight your way to the top of Jintha Alor in the heart of Vile Branch territory. Gain the key to Sharp Beak's cage from the Vile Priestess Hex, and then find and save Sharp Beak. So that's what we're going to be going for. It's really, really nice. See you soon. It almost makes me wish I had picked an Enhancement Shaman instead of a Paladin. Because that would absolutely rock. A slow one-hander with a damage proc. With Wind Fury on it. Whoo! Each day is a blessing. When I am finally granted an audience with Valstead Wildhammer... I hope to have our strongest advocate among the Wildhammer Dwarves at my side, Aldar. Featherbeard was revered among his people both for his legendary griffin training skills and for his wisdom. If anyone can sway Falstead, it is he. I would go to see him myself, except that I cannot leave the confines very peak while awaiting my audience. Visit Featherbeard at his residence south and ask if he will speak with me. Safe journey. Okay. Remember the lessons of the uh, see. To, to slay Witch Doctor Ma Shin and his pet spider, pet spider Chakaz. Okay. Be kind to those who and then Mangy Silver Manes and Silver Manes. Be well. We wild hammers remember the past more than our brothers in Ironforge. If you want to make friends here, then you get your hands dirty for us. The Horde abandoned their positions in the hinterlands around Skulk Rock. It's now overrun with nasty sludges and oozes. We've got plans on that area, but first we need a cleanup crew to make a hole for us. That's where you come in, sunshine. Head down there and take out ten green sludges and ten jade oozes. Then report back to me here. Move out. Get this straight, person. We are not part of the Alliance. The Wildhammers are independent, relying on deeds and actions to prove one's worth, rather than the blather of those who use jibber-jabber to bolster their do-nothing attitudes. We have made friends here. Then prove your worth to us first. The foul trolls that choke the hillsides of the hinterland sometimes carry tribal names. Bring five of them to me, and we'll mark it down as a step in the right direction. Oh. Featherbeard's journal appears to have a large number of recent entries. Leafing back to the beginning of the latest ones, you begin searching for clues about where he might have gone. The journal's most recent entries detail Featherbeard's concern about a growing number of Witherbark troll raids on the Wildhammer Riffin Aries and a rash of egg thefts. A search of the smaller Witherbark settlements in the area appears to have yielded no information. The last entry describes Featherbeard's suspicion that a Witherbark witch doctor named Ma Jin is behind the raids. The last hastily written sentence st 
states the dwarf's intention to travel to Shadra Lore in search of the eggs. Ooh, ooh, wow, that's where we're headed. I always thought these uh, little dwarf um, homes like this were so neat. I mean, I would totally be down with like being in a hobbit one like that. Yeah, the good thing about Crusader Strike is it um, it just requires a melee weapon, so you technically don't have to have a two-hander. So if you find like like if we didn't had lucked out with this Grim Reaper or the um, the one that I've got in the bank, um, the Songblade. Um, like you could do you could do this with like a pretty good one hander. Just get these out of the way really quick. Just a couple of silver main wolves. We're gonna kill plenty of um, trolls, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I am gonna go turn in this uh, booze up to uh, Rap City real quick. See, you had no trouble at all getting me what I need. Must have been quite a stint you had over there in far off Kalimdor. It won't take but a moment for me to extract what I need from these gizzards and livers. Pick up, then I can distill me a fierce old drink <laughs> and finally tell you what you want to know. Pick up, getting shivers just thinking about that old swamp. Pick up, let me whip up a drink real fast. Before the flight, I drank me a whole keg of stout. Pick up, and what a flight it was. Zipping around with Brohan following me. Didn't see no temple, though. Hiccup! Well, didn't see no temple <laughs> till I got a little too tipsy and fell off my mount. I plunged right into the water and was sucked down. Found myself surrounded by a bunch of creepy trolls. Sure swam out of there fast. Even made off with this troll souvenir. Here, take it to Brohan and let him know his temple is down there indeed. Hiccup! Ah... Uh. I don't think that I will ever uh, chuckle at that. Okay, so we need some regular silver main wolves. There we go.
Alright, one more wolf. Some sludges and oozes. Actually, kind of looking for mithril over here. I may have to put a point, another point into replenishment. So, okay, so we need to swing back down here before we get too far over here. Oh gosh, that's an hour almost. Um... Let's go down and kill that spider and his guy, his pet. Then we'll go in and uh, look at uh, Featherbeard. Because if I were, it has been a very long time, but I think this Featherbeard quest will end up skipping us or sending us over to Jenta Allure. I think.
Hogan's Ledge. Oh, is he not in here? Oh, wait, here he is. So I just have to kill him. Yeah, we have to kill both. We have to wait for him to call his pet. Or do we? Yeah, okay, so I'm going to pause the video for just a second, and uh, we will do that again, and I'll make sure that he actually summons his pet. All right, hold on. Okay, so the spider spawns separate of him, which is very odd, <laughs> but uh, okay. I'm going to complain about that too much. Let's go down here and uh, investigate Featherbeard real quick. So the, the Horde have a quest chain um, that starts with those uh, poison bottles, and they end up coming down here and killing Shadra, which is a level 50 elite, but she hits like, um, like a 80 elite. I mean, she is absolutely terrifying. Oh, okay. Oh, this doesn't look good. Upon the altar is a heap of bones that appear to have belonged to a dwarven male. No identifying features remains, but you decide to search the body for confirmation that these are the remains of Featherbeard. Looking over the remains, you surmise that this broken and battered skeleton must be all that is left of Featherbeard. Clutched in one skeletal hand is a torn and stained sheaf of paper. You gently remove and unroll it, revealing a hand-drawn map and a few hastily scrawled notes. The map appears to be a rendering of Shadra Allure and its three temples with X marks in several places, presumably the locations of the stolen eggs. You place the map in your pack for inspection at a safer location. I gather five griffin eggs and return them to Ambassador Rowan. Okay, well... Never done this quest before. We're going to go over a little bit.
Yeah, so the uh, Shadra, you can summon her right here. And she's kind of like a purplish... Um, uh, version of those, purplish red. She's a little bit bigger than these guys, but man, she absolutely is terrifying. <clears throat> I had a level... I'm about to say a level 70. Um, we're just going to pick that up for possibly later if we get to go to Sunken Temple. Uh, yeah, I had a level 70 Aladdin help me uh, on one of my other characters. And, like, she almost killed it. Like, it was a pretty well-geared... person too. I mean like the character was not like just kind of barely 70 with like junk stuff. It was a pretty well geared character and I mean it was just very surprising. Okay let's let's head back and do some turn-ins. Um, that'll definitely level us up too. So. And we can get these troll necklaces pretty easily. I don't know if the necklaces will... No, that's a repeatable quest. But... Well done. The wild hammers will be heartened to know that they don't stand against the Witherbark Krolls alone, showing them that the Alliance can prove a reliable partner in protecting the Griffins should lend more weight to our proposition. May your days be long. Right. Your I am be. revered with Nomergon. Yay! Dionys Aka. The wolves. Kind to those who escort you. The look on your face marks you as the bearer of bad news. What have you discovered? And in the eggs to the ambassador, you describe the findings at Featherbeard's hovel and Shadra Allure. The Witherbark killed Featherbeard? His face contorts in horror at your description of the dwarf's death and the implications of Rolos' mission. I understand why he felt he had to go in search of the eggs, but I wish he had thought to bring others along. His death will no doubt enrage Falstad, triggering a retaliation against the trolls and delaying my audience indefinitely. Thing. Oh, wow, that's that's it. That's unfortunate. Uh, I was hoping that that would lead somewhere, but I guess not. That's okay. All right, so our next point. I mean, that's actually giving me more more mana than I really anticipated. Uh, I may have to put points in that later. For right now, uh, we're going to go Sheath of Light 3 points. Increases your spell power by amount equal to 10% of your attack power. And your critical healing spells is like uh, a heal over time. So, our attack power... 603... And then with Blessing of Might is almost 700. So that's going to give us quite a bit of a boost to our holy damage. So that's kind of why I was like, maybe I need to respec now that I can uh, put points into this. But I mean, it drops so much of our crit. I mean, not a ton really, but... I don't know. We'll just kind of stick with it for now. Yeah.
I mean, that's not that much difference because we're still getting power in other ways. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of sit on that and kind of see. Anyway, um, but I'm going to go and call that an episode, and I hope you guys are enjoying the content, and I will see you guys in the next one. As always, hit like and subscribe, and I will um, see you in the next episode, and leave a comment if you're enjoying this. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.